So good morning. Welcome back to the Netherlands. Now, if you watch the channel regularly, you'll know that I've had the grace and fortune of filming with some incredible machinery. Some of the world's latest and greatest supercars. But today, as the title and the vehicle over my shoulder would suggest, is going to be something entirely different. This is the Defensor, which is a tactical all-terrain vehicle developed in the Netherlands. No civilians have had access to this vehicle yet. Uh, it's currently not allowed to drive on the road, or at least I'm not allowed to drive it on the road. So instead we brought it to this location here. Now on the other side of that lake is the sort of shakedown circuit, as you will, for this incredible machine where we're going to immerse you in what it's like to drive a multi-million pound, state-of-the-art military vehicle off-road and what they're all about. But first of all, let me show you around and show you what makes this thing so special. Okay, so just a few videos ago I was driving the uh, McLaren P1 GTR and I thought that that car was stripped out. This takes it to an entirely different level. Now, this whole platform uh, is configured so that each country that this military vehicle is supplied to is built and catered specifically for the requirements of the various different teams and militaries which will be using it. So not everyone will have this configuration, uh, but inside everything, every single thing has its purpose. Take for example, this brake pedal. Now you would think that that is just a bit of overkill when it comes to engineering, but in actual fact that is designed as a reserve pedal. So for example, say this machine gets shot up and battered and your power assisted brakes fail. By sticking the brake pedal on this massive lever here, it just gives you more leverage on your brakes so you're able to brake even if your brakes fail. And that's what this car is all about. It's all about mission success, tactical success. So everything you look at is literally designed to be bulletproof, which is crazy. And then you have things which you definitely do not find in the likes of a P1 GTR, which is this unit here. Now this can be linked up to anything that you want to electronically actuate. I often talk about rear wheel steer when it comes to supercars. Take uh, my manual GT3, for example, that does have rear wheel steer. The degree that this thing steers from the rear would actually rival a London taxi. I'll show you the agility of this car shortly. And what's unique about this car is that from ground up, it has been developed as a military vehicle from day one. Um, you'd be forgiven for thinking that majority of 4x4s which are supplied to armies around the world are specifically built from the ground up, but actual fact, a lot of them are developed as road cars first. So take, for example, the G wagon, and then they are adapted to be military vehicles. This has been developed from day one as a platform for the army. Interesting fact, one of the uh, founders of this company um, used to race in the Dakar rally. And so all of the inspiration for the suspension and the travel and the rear wheel steer, and importantly, the weight of this has been inspired by Dakar off-road racing. This only weighs 2,400 kilograms. Now that would be heavy in the car world, Sometimes a Rolls Royce can get up to that weight and that isn't designed to carry a 50 caliber machine gun. So this thing really is trick through and through. Now this can be adapted. You can take off this back section here if you wanted it to be more of a pickup truck. You can add doors on, you can take doors off. The whole thing through and through is just designed to be a modular platform. Uh, amazingly, it doesn't actually have that much horsepower. I think it's just over 200 horsepower. But where it gets interesting is the torque figures. That's over 500 pounds feet of torque. And we'll show you why that becomes special once we get to the off-road section, which I think we should do quickly because it's started to absolutely tip it down. So here I am inside the Defensor. What's really interesting is the amount of space you've got. So of course, I'm just wearing normal clothes right now, but if we, when it's in service, the guys inside this are wearing their, their bulletproof jackets, all, the, all of the gear that goes with it. So you're like twice the size as you are normally. And then here, there's just so much room. Oh, the agility. The rear wheel steer on this is ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, looks like we're going to go up this. I cannot tell you how steep this is. Oh my god! We're staring at the sky. What? That is crazy. That is absolutely bonkers. Yeah, normally, wow. this corner you have to go backwards, forward, backwards, really? forward. Really? Yeah, know? yeah. But That's so safety for the guys. Oh, is this happening? Is 
is happening. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I don't even know how that's doing now. I do not know how that's doing now. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Look how steep we are! <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is ridiculous. It's like broken concrete, super steep. I'm staring at the sky. Oh, okay. This is how is this actually happening? This is looks like. A are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That is unbelievable. What on earth? I mean, I've done some off-roading. That was next level. That was completely next level. We're just starting yet. Okay, we're just, start just starting, he says. Yeah. See you Oh my god, how is he gonna do that? No way, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that just did that. Yeah, Don't put that. As you see, the car can go really short for turns and very yeah. slow you can drive. But you could climb Everest with this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. This capability is ridiculous! I'm gonna go back up this. Yeah. Really? It's right. like this guy's. Look know. at this. Look at that. Is that real? Is that gonna work? Uh, I think so. Should I strap in? No. No. <laughs> There's no way. There is no way. <laughs> Honestly, I have never seen off-road ability like that before. Yeah. I'm not. This is not effect for camera. I'm absolutely blown away. And a little bit scared. <laughs> that is absolutely mental. <laughs> So, <laughs> there we have it, Defensure Tactical Military Vehicle. Um, it's mind-blowing, the agility of it, the rear wheel steer on this. Uh, I know I said it at the start, but this makes the rear wheel steer on a GT3 uh, feel pretty basic. I mean, you saw the turning circle earlier. This thing can turn almost, almost on its own axis. It's phenomenal. Uh, I mean, amazingly, despite all of this dirt in here as well, I actually didn't get as dirty as I thought I was about to. I mean, how is this possible? How is that absolutely covered in dirt? And I'm really not that bad. 
which is amazing. Um, fun fact, the, the engine as well runs on multiple fuel sources because this is designed to be used obviously in the battlefield. You're never guaranteed to get the fuel you actually need so it can run on all sorts of different fuel sources which is impressive stuff. And then like you've got all of these brackets and mounts here for the various artillery you might mount to it. This by the way, if you're wondering what this, what this sort of swing is here, this is actually a seat for the gunner which would be manned up there so you can man whatever artillery you want up there and then as you've seen you can go absolutely anywhere I cannot believe the ability of this thing it's unbelievable and I guess that's the difference between your civilian off-road vehicle and something which has been designed from ground up using Dakar experience to develop something agile but also well quite literally bulletproof and these by the way these work in conjunction with night vision goggles. So these throw out a particular light, UV light, and then when the driver's wearing his UV goggles or his night vision goggles, he can drive this thing in complete darkness. And also all of the instrument cluster inside goes dark, as it were. It only uses red light, and that way you can, you can drive as, well, as stealth as you possibly could in something this size. Massive thank you to the guys at Defensure for putting me in this. Um, I can't tell you how hard it is to get access to military vehicles for obvious reasons. Reasons, but today we like bringing you exclusive content. So here it is. Let me know in the comments below uh, any questions you have that I haven't answered. I'll try my best to find out and answer in the comments below. But yeah, there it is. Something totally different for the channel and incidentally my final video for my time in the Netherlands and now flying off somewhere very cool to film something else very special. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Ciao!